It's hot as hell out here. It is really hot. It has to be. got these masks going on. Got to wear like 25 times. Heat on. Goodness. It's too much. It's too much. Right? No guys been drinking nothing? You know what? I left it in the car. Oh man, I can't even stand this here. This is crazy. Man. I remember last summer it was nuts, but this summer is just crazy. Man. Yeah. Got black light matter going on. Got this weather. Got coronavirus. So yeah. a whole bunch of stuff got going on. You know? People not wearing masks, not following social distancing is crazy. Mm, it's crazy. It's really People crazy. have anti masks protests and protests for the mask. I don't know. It's crazy. You know, have a good survival. That's right. we, we're strong people, but you know, this is yeah. maybe our last hurdle or something. It's like, what are we going to do? Right. Crack that shit back! Give me all you got! All that money! I ain't got my money, brother. Nah, you Give fucking! Me, you motherfucker! Give me that shit right now! Get down here! Give me all you got! You feel that on your head? I'll fucking pop your ass! I ain't fucking playing! Stay right there, not a fucking single step! Get on your fucking head! Hand over your head! Not another word! Don't move! WABS News Time 857. And in local news, new coronavirus cases are now at an all time high. This as 1,500 new cases were reported this week alone. Governor DiVincenzo is urging people to wear masks in public, to continue practicing social distancing, and to avoid large gatherings. Crime is also on the rise in the state's largest city. This after a reported five shootings took place overnight, leaving three dead and several listed in critical condition at local hospitals. Two shootings alone took place in the city's north ward, two in the south ward and one in the west ward. There have so far been no arrests and as of now, no word if any of these shootings are related. Residents we talked to are blaming the shootings on the high level of unemployment, and city activists want to see more of a police presence in these areas. Authorities say that most of these shootings were near corner stores. Police Captain Michael Wallace is asking store owners to check their surveillance cameras and be on alert of any suspicious activity. In a monthly jobs report, unemployment numbers are down 3% from last week's number of 8.7, with more than 150,000 Americans filing for unemployment benefits for the first time. This week, according to job analyst Steven Sternin of Job Market News, the numbers are down simply because Americans have stopped looking for work. Black Lives Matter rallies are taking place in nearly every major city across the country. Today, the state's largest city is holding yet another protest, which is expected to begin at City Hall. This in the wake of the death of several unarmed African Americans due to police brutality. Local activists want change in their city, saying enough is enough, and want justice for the victims. Police Chief Michael Wallace says this is expected to be a peaceful protest, but the city will have a higher police presence in the area during the rally. Also, a new report shows that sleeping with devices on, such as TVs and radios, may affect people's thinking patterns during the course of the day. This was a study done by the University of Alabama.
Who is it? It's your poppy. Open up. I'm busy. Vamonos, come on. This fucking kid, man. What the hell wrong with you? Huh? Why are you smoking in the bathroom? You have a car outside where you can do that. Not in my house. You know your dear mother has asthma. Huh? Look at all the smoke in here. Now I'm gonna go smelling to, to work, smelling like you. Move. You know what the problem with you is? You spend too much time doing nothing. All you do is eat, shit, and smoke. Why are you starting with me so early in the morning? It's 9 a.m. Most people are going to work. You know I've been trying to get a job, but no one is hiring, especially with this pandemic. You wouldn't have this issue if you came to work with me. Nobody is trying to be out in the hot sun lifting a mailbag right now. Huh? Why not? There's nothing wrong being a letter carrier. Honest work, great benefits, help put food on the table, put your sister and brother through college. Would have done the same with you if you didn't bullshit so much. Man, uh, are, are you done? Plus, Mike can't get a job in his own field. And Angie got pregnant while she was in college. I have a brother and a sister. I'm and not the only sorry kid in this family. You raised three sorry kids. What's wrong with you? You really think shit should be handed to you, don't you? Why are you so content on being a nobody? Man, and delivering someone's mail makes you somebody? Mijo, the only thing I hoped for you was that you would amount to something. I worked hard to give my kids a better life. Man, you know my boy is working on getting me a job where he's at. Your boy this, your boy that. I've been hearing you say the same thing for years. You're 27, and all your boys, where they at, huh? Huh? They have jobs. They're starting their own businesses. Some of them even starting families. You a weed man, and you smoke your own shit. Running out with these whores. That's why you broke. Are you done with the lecturing? Besides, Poppy, you ain't a saint. You were my age, you were out in the streets, late at night, getting drunk with your boys, We can havoc on the town, okay? Mommy waiting on you to get home, all right? I am not the only player in this family. When I was a child, I thought as a child. I understood as a child. I spoke as a child. Between, I became a man and put away childish things. You. You are going to quote the Bible? You out of all people! Don't take that tone me or disrespect the Bible. I did my very best for my family. Trying to make you live the American dream, but you're just ruining your life. And you will end up like those drug heads in the street. Is that what you want for yourself? Poppy, you, you're wrong. You're wrong. I'm right. I shouldn't have to tell a man how to be a man. I am a man. And besides, I'm going to get my money. I'm going to get up out of here. And I'm going to be more of a man than you will ever be. I'm not going to be a 45-year-old, broke-down drunk, with a shitty job, like you! It's pointless talking to you. You want to ruin your life? Fine. I'm tired of helping you out. Ruin, ruin. I I'm not going to ruin anything. Make yourself useful. And don't be here when I go home. Yeah, just leave. Just leave me here. I'm gonna make something out of myself. Those are my words, all right? To hell with you, man. To hell with you. You're 27. 27. And all your and boys, boys were there, huh? 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 They have, they have jobs. jobs. They're starting their own businesses. Some of them Some even of them starting, starting families. Family. That was an amazing trip. I just wish we could have stayed in Atlantic City a little bit longer. Or, but you know how it is. You know, work comes up, you know, I answer to that, you know? Yeah, but at least you found time for me to go. So I feel like I don't see you that much. <laughs> nah, don't talk like that. You know how it is with my business, you know? Can't be away from it too long. 
Hmm. Is it more important than me, though? Here you go. I mean, <laughs> at least one good thing is, you know, I'm working from home now, so. Hmm. I have clients and, you know, I'm making money. How can you say that? You know you're the most important woman. It's just that, you know, my business comes up and, you know, I can't, I can't turn my back away from it. You know that. Shit, I better be the only woman. <laughs> Or like, you know you're the only woman. Ain't nobody else out here. I ain't, I ain't seen nobody else. And that's the truth. Believe that shit. Hmm. And you know you can tell me anything, and I do mean anything. Damn, baby, yo. Yo, why are we out here in the car? Let's go inside so we can see what we started up in Atlantic City. Hmm, I have something that you're really gonna like, too. Word? Mm -hmm. Yo, I can't wait to see that shit. Yo, get that Henny bottle in the back, yo. Let's go inside. Yo, Sean, what's going on, man? Yo, what, what the hell on, are you man? doing? Back your ass up. Ten feet apart, not six feet apart. Yo, what the hell are you doing around here anyway? And where's your man? Didn't I tell you don't ever come around here no more, man? Listen, man, I know it's been a while, but I'm in a tight spot right now. And I was just, you know, came to, you know, and I was wondering if uh, maybe you could lend me some money. Like, right now I need like 10 grand. What the hell is going on around here? Babe, babe, go in the house, all right? I'll explain everything to you in a minute, all right? Go on the side. So let me get this shit straight. You come all the way up here, asking me to loan you $10,000 of my money? I want you to think back. Think all the way back to when you first came into my operation. And I told you, never smoke your own shit. Sell that shit. Remember that? Yeah, man, listen, you, you sound like my dad right now. Yo, I don't give a fuck who I sound like. All I know is don't ever come around here no more. I gave your ass too many chances. Late with deliveries. I have people calling me up saying, yo, they want a bag, and you can't even deliver it to them. Yo, I can't have that shit in my organization. Man, that's fucked up, man. You know how many times I could have dropped a dime on you and your operation? So, whoa, 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 son, what'd you just say to me? Uh, I'm sorry, listen, just, uh, you know, I'm in a desperate spot right now, okay? Sorry for what I said, obviously, but, you know, I... I'll do anything, man. I swear, I'll, I'll do anything. Back the hell up. Yo, don't you ever come around here with that shit no more. I swear to God, man, if you ever come around here with that shit again, ooh, yo, I'm gonna pop your ass so quick and I'm trigger happy as fuck. Try me. Try me. Early voting has been scheduled in all 50 states with already more than 20 million Americans casting their ballots by mail ahead of the 2016 election. Now, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, studies say that it could be much more before. Hey, what's going on, babe? How are you? Babe, you know you're my babe. Come on. It's not true. You know I call you for other things, too. Like what? I've been trying to call you and you ignored my call. I've been busy, you heard? Yeah. Busy doing nothing. I've been trying to get this business going, all right? Working with a drug dealer isn't a business. This is why we always argue. It's because you're always on that bullshit you tell me. Don't talk to me like that. I don't even know why I bother picking up your calls. I just wish. Maybe, just one time, you might have grown up. And be ready to take responsibility for your action. Grow up, uh, what are you talking about? Kevin, I'm pregnant. What? You heard me? I'm pregnant with your child. You're gonna be a daddy. No, 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 this shit's crazy. How, how do you know it's mine? Are you fucking serious? Did you literally just say that to me? Listen, uh, what I'm saying is, like, 
how do you know it's mine? Like, we haven't been together like that in a minute. And Lord knows I could have been with better or at least decent. Are you at least gonna say something? I see you. Why? Listen, I, I, I want to be able to do something. Come on, uh, I'm sorry. Listen, listen. I, I'm I'm coming over. All right. No, please don't. I gotta get ready for work. You gotta start saving for the baby. All right, then let me at least take you to work. How many times have I asked you to take me to work and you've been late? I almost lost my job last time. Why are you gonna go fuck up and be a man? My plan, all right, is to get me and you out of here, all right? Make some money, all right, and do right by you, okay? My commitment, I want us to get out of here and start a life somewhere. Start a life? I know how many times you said that. I'm sick of this. Sick of what? Sick of... Are you even hearing me? Yes, I'm listening. What, what are you sick of? I want something better. You always said you're gonna change. You're gonna be a good boyfriend. How many times have I caught you in a lie? Like, you're always lying. I give you my heart, my soul, so many times, and you've broken it to the core. Life's too short for me to be wasting it on you. I'm gonna take care of myself and the baby. Come on, vet. You know I love you. I'm gonna change my ways, all right? I wanna raise this kid. I want us to be together. And I'm serious this time. But please, vet. <sighs> Goodbye, Kevin. I hope you found yourself and see that you have something good. I really hope you get your life together. Don't be here when I go home. You really hope you get your life together. Where's your mat? Didn't I tell you not to come around here no more, man? day of temperatures reaching over 90 degrees in the northern part of the state, the Weather Bureau predicts that temperatures are expected to reach a record high of 105 by next week. Cooling centers have opened throughout the city, however only at 25 percent capacity due to coronavirus. The mayor's office is urging people to try and avoid direct sunlight. It's hot as hell out here. It, it is really it's hot. Really okay, hot. I got these masks going on. I got the coronavirus. I got the heat on. Good. Right. Glasses falling out. Too much. Too much. Right. Right. No guy out there drinking nothing? You know what? I left it in the car. Oh man, I can't even stand this here. This is crazy. Right? I remember last summer it was nuts, but this summer it's just crazy. Yeah. Yeah.
got Black Lives Matter going on, got this weather, got coronavirus, so yeah. a whole bunch of stuff we got to worry about now. So. Yeah, people you know, not wearing masks, not following social yeah. distancing is mm-hmm. crazy. It's crazy. It's people crazy. have anti-mask protests and mm-hmm. protests for the mask. I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah. But, you know, how we gonna survive this? Though, you know? That's right. We, we're strong people, but you know this, yeah. this may be our last hurdle or something. It's like, what are we gonna do? Right. But I don't know. Crack that shit back! Give me all you got! All that money! I ain't got no money, brother. Nah, you Give fucking! Me, you motherfucker! Give me that shit right now! Get down here! Give me all you got! You feel that on your head? I'll fucking pop your ass! I ain't fucking playing! Stay right there, not a fucking single step! Get on your fucking head! Hand over your head! Not another word! Don't move! Shut up! WABS News Time 1203. Crime is on the rise in the state's largest city. This after a reported five shootings took place overnight, leaving three dead and several listed in critical condition at local hospitals. Two shootings alone took place in the city's north ward, two in the south ward, and one in the west ward. There have so far been no arrests, and as of now, no word of any of these shootings are related. Residents we talked to are blaming the shootings on the high level of unemployment. And city activists want to see more of a police presence in these areas. Authorities say that most of these shootings were near corner stores. Police Captain Michael Wallace is asking store owners to check their surveillance cameras and be on alert of any suspicious activity. Also, a new report shows that sleeping with devices on, such as TVs and radios, may affect people's thinking patterns during the course of the day. This was a study done by the University of Alabama. 